morning and welcome to Common Repair News. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd. I'm Aiden. And I'm Hannah. Today for lunch we'll be having chicken alfredo or tuna sandwich with steamed broccoli and baby carrots with your always choose of, choice of fruit and milk. Please stand for the pledge. To lead you in the pledge, we have the softball team. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Thanks for leading the pledge today, girls. Attention anyone who has a woodworking project in Mr. Bowser's back storage room and is currently not working on it. Please be sure to arrange a time to take your projects home as soon as possible. If they are not finished, you still need to take them home and they can be brought back next year. Projects are, that are left have no guarantee to be there next year. The yearbook class has been hard at work this semester and are excited to present this year's book to all of you. But they are in need of some photos. If you would like to be seen in the yearbook, download the yearbook snap app and type in our school name, Connor Perry, and the passcode is Panthers. The team is looking forward to seeing all of your pictures. After prom signups are still available in Mrs. Payne's office. You do not need to be going to prom to attend the after prom, but you must be a junior or senior from our school. The cost will be $20 per person with the option to purchase aqua ball, laser tag, or the ropes course for an additional $5 each. You can also purchase arcade time. Any questions, please see Mrs. Payne. Applications for the Gillian Jones Scholarship are in the guidance office. All senior female athletes are eligible to apply. Pick up the applications from Mrs. Shook and turn them in by April 20th. The Commonwealth Education Association offers a scholarship to any senior who is attending a college or trade school. Please see Mrs. Shook for an application. They are due by April 17th. No late applications will be accepted. The junior class is selling tickets to the spaghetti dinner held on April 15th at Rainbow Valley. Please see a junior to support their efforts to raise money for after prom. And in attention juniors, just a reminder that all of your spaghetti dinner tickets and money are due on Friday, April 15th. Now here's the weather for today. Good morning, I'm your weatherman for today. Today is April 3rd, it is a Wednesday. Today for the high will be 58 and the low will be 35 and it will be mostly sunny. And throughout the week you can see that tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday it will be a chance of rain. So that's not good, but at least we're getting warm weather. And this day in history, in 1862, slavery was abolished in Washington, D.C. And in 1882, the American outlaw, Jesse James, was shot in the back and killed by his cousin, Bob Ford. Oh, wow, that's a nice family. In 1984, Coach John Thompson of Georgetown University became the first African-American coach to win an NCAA basketball tournament. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Caleb. That's all we have for today. Where, Where are the Joneses? Joneses? Tune in, in tomorrow for <laughs> Commodore Perry News. <laughs>